poor sand digger. Just out here minding his own business. Some jackass like me comes along in a pointy hat and takes him out just so I can have Peter reps. There ought to be a law. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we're going to do a little more work on the house as usual. Um, we're just about finished, structurally speaking, not necessarily decoratively speaking, but structurally speaking, we're just about done with the ground floor of the house. we got to fix this crap over here, and maybe what we'll do is we'll see if we can spiff up the stairs a little bit too. And then uh, after that, we're going to go into the Kindle Waste for the first time and see if we can actually do maybe Sun Temple Stories, pick up the scientific instruments, s possibly get the loom. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, I, I did have enough ingredients too, by the way, after I left you guys in the last episode to make one batch of chicken soup. So for constitution, good stuff, good stuff indeed. Um, and I did decide also to make some um, Rui, Rui uh tea just so we have it um, in case we're in a situation where I, I want to, you know, have like a long mining session, for example, and want to get my, my stamina and all that up better or a long road trip, something to that effect. Okay, so uh, let's get go ahead and deal with this. So we're going to go back to our blocks are our stone blocks that I like the regular stone blocks um, and we're also going to want uh, some refined wood blocks and I th um, let's let's grab the weathered stone blocks too I guess and I also want the building hammer I have <clears throat> excuse me uh, I have some chamomile in there um, we're gonna do we're gonna do some gardening and farming fairly soon as well. Uh, I've just been using the existing fields, you know, that we currently have. So this is all wheat here, and then down here I've got uh, chamomile, more wheat, beets, and peppers uh, planted uh, that are still in the process of growing there. All right, so let's go ahead and. Come on in here, and first thing we need to do is clean up all of this crap. Now, can I... Just trying to see if I can remove the rubble without breaking the stairs. It doesn't really look like it's going to let me do that. Okay. Um... Let's go out here for a second. I'm going to kind of trim some of this down. This will all get dug out completely and replaced with, you know, nice and neat stuff later. But uh, let's kind of just kind of clear a little bit of it out right now. I must have I must have done this little overhang thingy here because when we were working on the that little storage room in the last episode because there's no reason for that to be there otherwise see even even this dirt here needs to be dug out a bit. Okay, I think that's good enough for the moment. I'm clearing out the rubble there. Now let's uh, let's go to four meter and can we just put this in here and then take it back out? It didn't really do quite what I wanted it to do. Let's take snapping off.
That's a little more like what I want it to do. Okay, now let's go to here. And put you in there. Can we hold it? Yeah, this way once more and over the... Uh, Yeah, that's kind of more what I wanted to do with it, actually. So let's go to you and up here. There we go. That looks nice and clean on the floor. Okay, let's go back outside. And, you know, we're again, we're just going to have to use the wrong kind of block for this until we find the right block. Um, go up to here. And let's see. Go back to 4 meter. Can I get you to pop in right? Eh, that's pretty good. Can I get another one to do that? Um, okay, yeah, I guess that did work. Nope. Gotta go in there. Okay, and then can we pop one in here? Back up a little bit. Okay, we just got a couple small ones to fill in. That is the bottom of the house proper, I think. Yeah. Okay. So this will all, you know, we'll, we'll dig more of this crap out and use probably this part of the ground as the guide for the level. And we'll put, you know, we'll replace it with, with terrain blocks so it looks nice. Uh, but that's all we're going to do out here for this episode. Now let's see. What can we do with the stairs? Um, we could... Man, I just, I absolutely hate all the grass up here. <laughs> uh, so, I really like the, the pattern that the stairs are using. Uh, but, you know, they're using the other kind of block is the thing. We really need to find that block. Uh, you guys may have told me in the comments where to find it. I haven't seen that yet because I'm a few episodes ahead, as usual. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to do here... Oh, that's weird. Okay. If we do that and then that. Hmm. I I I don't I'm not a huge fan of the way this game automatically does borders. It's just kind of weird the way that it does it. But here's the thing. I'm, I I mean I don't I can't really fix these stairs without the right blocks. Un unless we completely change the blocks altogether, which we could do. But I like the look of these blocks. I just we just got to get the grass and all the crap off of it. Um. Yeah. Wh why when I take those out, 
these two little borders pop over there, but then when I put these back in, they d they don't come back. I don't know, man. That's just weird. Yeah. Um. Okay, so another thing we could do is we could make the treads of the stairs wood. Um, let's just play around with that idea for a moment. Um, and I'm probably going to have to make some more of these. What if we also do this and then this? See, I like that look, actually. We've got a, an issue here because we don't have the right blocks. So that's the best we can do for that right now. But I, I actually like the wood treads. So let's do the wood treads all the way up. I can't, I can't fix the grass until I can replace these blocks later. Uh, but we can at least do the wood tread. And I'm going to need to make some more uh, refined wood blocks. Let's see. What do we need for that? Refined wood block. Planks and logs. Grab a couple stacks of planks. Let's get some logs out of here. We'll split that. That should give us enough. Uh, all right. So if we go to here and check the two meter block, we should be able to do this. No, not that. That. Um, somehow or another, I messed up those blocks, too. Oh, did I go back too far on that? I think I did. For now, we'll just put these uh, blocks in here. What am I doing wrong here? We need one block there, one there, and one there. Okay. That looks uh, halfway decent, I think. Oh. No, nah, shoot. We got to. That's why I was getting thrown off by the other blocks. We got to pull everything another block forward. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. So, um, go back up here, go to here. No, 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 no. Down to here. Okay. So that goes there. Uh-uh, that's still not right. Ah, shit, okay. We need more undoes. What I need to do is I need to replace this with wood. Get rid of that, get rid of that. 
I knew something was wrong when we got to the top of the stairs and I was like, wait a minute, this isn't working out the way it's supposed to. Okay, that is correct for the treads. Now let's go back to you and remove you and you. You and you. There we go. Okay. And uh, this grass is just killing me. We can't have that there. Just not going to work. So we're going to put the wrong blocks in there for now. And gets all the grass off the stairs. Um, I guess what we'll have to do here is um, do that and that. And that. I know it's not the right stone, but at least it gets rid of the grass. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our handiwork here. A vast improvement from what it was when we started the episode. We still got some kind of weird rubble thing going on here. Okay, so that fixes the rubble thing. I got one thingy of grass here. Um, so if we take that out and the one below it, and then put this back, whoops, put this back in, that gets rid of that grass. Okay, good. Okay, guys, I think we have completed a repairing the ground floor of this house uh, as far as the structure goes. Again, um, there's more decoration and things that can happen. but um, And when we find the right type of stone, too, we might replace some of this other stone that we patched things with. The other option we could go with is, is to replace all of it with the new stone, but... I don't mind this stone. I think it looks fine. A and B, that would be kind of a lot of work that I'm not necessarily inclined to uh, want to do. So I think we're going to we'll go with this setup here. All right, let's go to sleep, get geared up, and then uh, we're going to go out and hit the Kindle Waste for the first time. Looks like we have some crops ready to harvest. I'm going to take care of that before we leave, so we can get new ones planted. All right, let's make a couple more batches of chicken soup. Uh, we need water and we're short one raw bird meat. Grab the water out of here. I have a bunch of water in the storage bins too. Um, but I don't think I have another piece of raw bird meat currently. If I did, it would most likely be in here. No, I don't see it in there. What about in here? We got cooked or grilled bird meat, but not raw bird meat. All right, no worries. 
we uh, we have ten, so we're we're doing fine as far as that goes. And we'll be getting more raw bird meat when we go into the kindleways because we're going to be get attacked by the vultures. Nope, in here. Put you in there. We'll put the salt. I guess. Uh, wait, do I have salt in here? Oh, I got a lot of salt in here. In fact, let's take a stack of that and put it over in the tannery. And we have 20 more leather. And more on the way. Are you continuing to make that stuff? You need more salt too, don't you? Okay, let's try uh, transfer this over to here. And we'll grab another stack of salt. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, are we fully rested? Yes, we are. Let's take a look at our map here. Um, we need to get over into this area here, so I think we'll go to the Ancient Spire, and then we'll just start from that location. So we're gonna we're gonna be in the shroud for a little bit, but not for a really long time. So I think we can probably manage without having to take a shroud potion. Um, so let's take spirit, intelligence, food buff, and we'll take one of you and one of you, and I think we're good to go. Let's do this. You're on fireball. Um, let's put this as our main quest because we got to go through here to get to that location. Pick. Pick, 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 pick. Must be bugged. All right. Um, you know what? I should have made some more chain lightning because the vultures are very vulnerable to that. Um, all right. Am I... That glowing thing up there is something we need. I thought that was the blacks or the alchemy thingy. Scientific instruments. Unless... Unless we're just getting to it, you know sooner. Oh, shit. <laughs> For scorpions, let's uh, switch to fireball. There we go. Our first saffron pick of the series. Grab a couple more. Uh, okay, there we go. These are kind of buggy. Now, we're going to have to fight a couple of buzzards over here. Vultures. But I don't think there are any other enemies. There's 
There they are. Scientific instruments. Water and flower. And a fire wisp summon. Okay, so that should have advanced this quest. Yep, it did. So we just eliminated the first step, which wanted us to go somewhere else. Just, oh shit, uh, so it could take us this way. You're not the only one that can fly, bruh. All right. Look at that. We took down almost half of his health. Okay, there are a couple chests and things around here we can loot and some other stuff. Let's hit that. Fire with summon and shroud meteor. Nothing in there. Uh, nope. Loot the string. Don't sleep in a bed. See, there's another vulture up there, too. That's too too far away. All right, let's nuke him with a, a fireball. Oh, wow, that did some serious damage to him. What, <laughs> what are you doing, man? Hmm. Maybe fireball is actually better than lightning. Of course, I have fireball too, whereas in only lightning once. So that's part of it too, I bet. Okay, pause the screen to read that from Lorraine Krim. Got some yellow fabric. Nice. Uh, I don't see anything in there. Some blue fabric. Blue and red fabric. I don't believe there's anything we can do down there. Pause the screen to read. That actually uh, talks about how all the water in the world turned into the red, the red dead unredemption stuff. So if you didn't know that lore, you might want to go back and pause the screen and read that because it's interesting. Okay, cool. So we have obtained the scientific instruments, which means we can now make the laboratory, which means that we can make the best potions. Like this, for example. Um, why don't we work our way down towards the Sun Temple and we'll set an altar down when we get over there. Or what we could do is work our way all the way over to East Lapis and there's a cave up here with iron in it and a gold chest that we could f start farming. Maybe we'll do that first and we'll set uh, we'll set our altar down there. Okay, yep, let's do that. I like that idea. And we can start farming, you know, really high level legendary stuff from that chest, you know, fairly early on. Uh, there's loot and stuff at that big dam. But that's not something we really need to do anything with for now. So let's work our way down this direction. Here's some lapis too. Uh, we are going to need that, but we don't necessarily need it right at the moment. You know what we should do though? Is get stuff for an altar. While we're still kind of in the highlands area here. Uh, what? What the hell just happened there? Actually, though, no, the place we we're going to is in the highlands. 
I'm sure we'll find stone over there. I hope we will. If we don't, then this is going to be a long run for not a whole lot of benefit. You're on fireball, right? Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll have plenty of opportunity to mine lapis later. I thought I heard something. Oh, ouch. Okay. Okay. Whew. Guy does some damage, man. There's our raw bird meat that we needed. Okay, so... Um, I think we're going to glide... We need to kind of go that way. Yeah, let's go down this way. This is where we got to go to get the smoker. I don't... It's part of the quest line, anyway. Uh, is this where we actually find it? I know we... I'm pretty sure we looted off of one of these VUCA dudes. Okay. So I think this is maybe just one of the stops along the way. Let me look at the map again. If we go through here, we're going to have to go through a VUCA camp. And they're going to be pretty high level. So I think I'm going to go around the other way. These guys give really good meat. Um, but we don't really have a recipe for it yet. We'll pick some of it up, though. I think we'll avoid that camp up there. Um, let's get some palm wood and some... Agave or yucca? Yucca. Get wrecked. So vulture way out that direction. Respawn point. Okay, I think we want to go down through here. some sulfur there too, but we don't need that right now. We'll grab this. Because that stuff's... Eh, it's not too terribly difficult to come by in quantity, but it can be a little bit. Oh, 
That one's bugged out again. That one's not. Oh, you know what? I oh, you know what we can get here? We can get that uh, that root stuff that's really good for spirit. Yeah. Um, I do believe there's some enemies down there though that we're gonna have to deal with. This is uh, like Emily's old village. If we're gonna mess with that, I think I'd like to get a altar down first. Oh wow, we're out of space. Okay, let's get rid of you, you. You do a health regen and a stamina recharge. That's pretty good, actually. Here, let's take that right now. Hey, we just leveled. Hot damn. Alright, we don't need one thingy of cloth. Uh, we don't need a thingy of bone. We don't need one thingy of scrap metal. Don't need these. Uh, I don't really need that. I guess we could keep that even though I'm making it back at the base. Right, that gives us a few slots. Okay, we need to come up with some stone. Um, so I was told... But these things will give you stone. Two. Okay. We need a total of five. There we go. Rose Shell Burrow. Enemies nearby. Guess we'll put it there. Where does this go? Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to Rose Shell Burrow. And I want to get the root down here because that's going to give us a nice intellect or a, a nice spirit uh, food. But I, like I said, I think there's like maybe greenies or something down here. If we could grab. One of those because we need to refresh our spirit. Okay, I want to be on ice staff if we run into a greenie. What's that noise? Grapple plant, that's what it's called. Okay, so this does five spirit versus four. So this is now our new spirit food. And we will... Throw it back at the garden, too, when the time comes. Grab this other stuff, too. Alright, let's see what this has to say. 
Uh, you'll notice Emily Frey is the author of this. Go ahead and pause the screen and read that if you want to. It's an interesting story. little backstory with Emily. Of course, we read through all that stuff in Season 1, so that's why I'm not doing it again. Okay, I think there's a chest back here. A gleaming staff. Let's look at that. So it's a level 23, 44 power. And we can add 8 fire magic damage to it. But we would lose... Four thingies of mana generation. Hmm. We'll have to think about that. I have to think about that. It, it's definitely a damage up, upgrade, but I'm not so sure that I would want to lose all that mana region. Okay, let's go through here. Iron arrows. Pretty sure the last time I was down here we fought enemies, but I might be mistaken about that. Um, let's go in here. Well, enemies besides bugs. Let our aura kill these guys. Oh, shit. That guy's dangerous. Alright, that just comes back into the courtyard that we came in. To the place originally. Let's go through here. Fire wisp. Yeah, this would be a good time to use one of those. He'll follow us around and shoot bad guys. And give us a little bit of light. The light's not very impressive on those guys, though. Not like the wisp that we're using. Okay, I think let's go into here. There's the enemies. We did level two, didn't we? We have to look at our points. Hey, nice. We got an elixir out of that deal. some flour. The fire wisps don't do a very good job of sticking with you either, I've noticed. And see, their light kind of sucks. No offense, dude, but uh, yeah, you're, you're not that impressive. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of this. What's that? Experience scroll. Get rid of that. Okay, let's look at our points. We have two points. We're currently working on battle mage stuff. All right, so we can either do 30% chance to spawn an additional wand projectile or repeated wand damage is increased by 20%. 30% chance is pretty good. Um, 
But this is guaranteed. That's 30% chance. I mean, we'll probably take both of them, but let's go with this one. And then we have two more points of spirit and intelligence that we can invest in as well, which will be nice. Um, okay, so... These are lockpicks. This was just where Emily and her family lived once upon a time. All right, I don't see anything in there. That's the way we came down. Okay, that goes across to the other thingy. Where does this go? Oh, right. That No, that's the one that goes across to the other thingy. Okay, where does this one go then? Into another living area. This was almost like a tavern or something. Cool. Uh, we already went into you and you go into this side which we've already looted okay so i think we're finished here um let's get out and we're gonna head back home On fertile ground. Okay. So let's let's head back home. Um, I think what I want to do before I let you guys go, I know we're running a little bit longer this time, but uh, what I want to do is I want to get over to that cave where we're going to set down our um our our altar, which I'm going to keep there all the time in farm and we it'll also give us early access to iron as well without enemies nearby which is pretty handy let me put all this stuff away and sleep and i'll see you guys in the morning okay it's morning um he wants to talk to us Whoa, about his scientific instruments the question is can we make that or are we missing stuff we need to make um Wait, don't we use this to make, like, the big alchemy station? Or do we just put these on the floor? I don't remember now. So does that give us access to... No, see, the laboratory, that's what we need to make. But he's not giving us the option for that. It's probably because... Hold on a second. Hmm, did we screw something up? Cause he's not he's not letting us turn the quest in. Um Make that's the active quest. We're they we retrieve must be brought to alchemist and crafted into a laboratory to unlock more recipes. But he doesn't give us the option to do the laboratory. So I wonder if we're either too low level or we're missing some other requirement. Because we kind of jumped the gun and... Do we, oh, do we have to make one of these? I'll bet you we have to make this first. Yep. Now that I... Th oh, no, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, it's down here. Okay, sorry. I was looking up... I was looking up under production thingies, not tools and components. Okay, so we can make this. We just need... Um, to make an ath Athenor, and we need some glass. Um... Which also needs glass. So I think I have all the rest of this stuff. A tin glass and 
So th and three. So we need thirteen glass. Do I have forty brick? Mm -mm. Okay. So I'm gonna have to go farm some clay for brick. And as far as glass goes, what does that require? I oh, wouldn't even have the recipe for glass. Hmm. You know why? Because I think I need to pick sand up. I don't think I've done that yet. That's probably what's stopping that. Okay, well, we'll work on that later then. Um, Emily also wants to talk to us. She wants to know how things were in her old home. Oh, she wants us to find her ring in Brittle Bush. Uh, actually, though, I think the. Yeah, Brittle Bush. That's where we need to go. That's right by the Sun Temple, anyway. Um. So we now. Oh, we can craft the oven. Oh, right. Okay. I was thinking that was something we had to go find in a quest, but I guess we just make that. So we could probably do this right now. And then that would give us access to the mushroom stuff for intellect. Yeah, we, we need to do that right now because that's one of our most important foods as a mage. Um, I got a little bit of clay here. I got some bricks. Um, we're going to also... Upgrade this staff to whoops, uh, upgrade the staff, and then I need to decide if it's going to be worth us switching over to. I mean, nine fire damage since fire is our main attack anyway. Uh, yeah, so that. That basically means this thing, when we do fire attacks, is going to do 55 damage compared to 34. It's just that mana is going to be potentially something that's going to be more of an issue, which we could, you know, manage, I guess, with potions until we find something better. So I think this is a good move for us to switch to this new staff. Pretty cool looking, too. Uh, all right. So that decides that. I will keep the staff for now. Uh, our old staff, rather. Uh, so we'll keep that for the moment. Um, the scientific instruments. We can't do anything with that until I can gather all the stuff to. we need to make it. So I think I'm just going to put it back down on the floor for now. All right. Now, you... What do we need for you? We just need five metal sheets. Yeah, we should have that. If we don't, I've got tons and tons of scrap metal to make them, but I think I have some metal sheets in here. Mm, yep, look at that. She said we need a five, I think. I'm going to try this um, Shroud Meteor spell because um, it could be a really good AoE thing, especially, you know, if we're like, up on a perch and they can't get to us and they're all meandering around down below. Boom. Glad to I'm glad you're glad to help. Okay, where are we going to put Emily's oven? Um, it kind of seems to me like it might make sense to put it next to the fireplace. So let's move the almanac. Okay, let's take snapping off. Put the almanac in this corner for now. She might actually want it over here by all her books and things. That even makes more sense, doesn't it? All right, now that we have the oven, we should be able to make the mushroom stuff. Um, oh, and we can also make grilled yucca, which is going to be 20 stamina recharge for 7 minutes versus 20 for 5. Mm. See, this is something I don't necessarily want to have on for a really long time because it could block 
one of our other food buffs. So I think we're going to hold off on the yucca for now. Um, we can make spiced tea, which gives us five endurance compared to three endurance, but with stamina recharge. Boy, I would rather have the stamina recharge than just more endurance overall. So, I, so we're going to stick with that. This is what we can now make because we have the oven. Oh, we can do fruit bowl now. <sighs> this is really, really good food. It's just that we don't have the stomach slot for it. Unless we... We could replace our, our health cap food with this. The problem, though, is, you know, like, for example, when we got thumped by that vulture, it took us down to, like, 10% health. So we kind of really do need that health cap, or that would have killed us. But when we get the fourth stomach slot, which I am planning on doing eventually... You know, then then we're definitely going to be looking at that. Um, strength is not really useful to us at the moment. Meat wraps are very useful to us. In, f in fact, that would replace... Oh, wow, that gives intelligence, too. Oh, dudes. Totally, we got to do this. Totally, we got to do this. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, we're going to skip... We're going to skip over chicken soup altogether. I'd rather have five constitution and one intelligence than four and one dexterity. For sure. Okay. So, um, we need mushrooms and we need, we, we got two things, of, two thingies of sand digger meat. I'm going to go out and start farming those guys. Let's put this stuff back away. We need mushrooms and eggs for the uh, for the stuff. And I can't remember. Oh, and we need, I know we need flour. Okay, so let's go to intelligence. Um, the only thing that's better than this is there's like some kind of mushroom soup stuff that we can make, but I haven't come across all the ingredients for that yet. And we might need one more thing for Emily anyways before she can make that. So we can make two of these. That's all we can make at the moment because we need, we're going to need to farm up some more eggs. Farewell. Farewell. But now we have graduated from a plus three intelligence to a plus four intelligence food. And for the sand digger, I mean for the uh, this guy, we can make two. Which gives us even more intelligence. Oh, I love it. Okay, so that's going to replace the chicken soup. And I just got to go farm up a bunch of sand diggers. Because all the rest of this stuff is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Stay safe, friend. All right. And we got the plus five spirit herbs. So these are our three main foods. These are um, foods for other purposes. And I'm very happy about those developments, I have to say. I have to say very happy about our culinary improvements here. All right, let's put the you in there. Is there any room in the bottom chest? There's room for one thing. So we'll put the chicken soup in there. And we'll put you in here. Runes can go up here. I'm going to take this these mana potions. I got the big ones, but we'll take the little ones too because I think we're going to need to possibly have to manage that a little more now that we don't have quite as much mana regen as we had before with that other staff, but we've got way more pew pew. Can this go down here? No. Okay, so we'll put that back there. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Uh, let's make an altar now, just so we have it ready. And I also, while we're here, I'm going to want to make a, a workbench to keep out there for repairing. So let's see, we need three string and eight wood log. There we go. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's 
Make sure we have full rested bonus. Uh, sleep in the bed for a second. Okay, we got it. And let's head back to here. And we'll work our way up to here. Um, the loom for the hunter. We might be able to ninja in and grab that. But I think we'll save that for the next episode. I'm going to leave this here for now. But we'll pick it up eventually because we don't really need to come back here now to this particular spot. Okay, so we've increased our fire damage significantly. Um, let's rebuff. We've increased our spirit. We've increased our intellect. And increased our intellect and especially our health even more. It's a beautiful thing. Let's grab one of these and one of these. Okay. Let's nuke this bird over here. Is he stuck? <laughs> One shot. One shot. I don't know if we can get to him, though. Um, can we get to him through here? No, nah, he's glitched into the terrain. That sucks. Okay, no worries. We're going to need to farm a bunch of those guys, you know, for the eggs and that sort of thing. All right, let's see. We've got a... Uh, let me look and see what's going on here. Um, I think we can maybe scooch up through here. Yeah. This is desert flower. Or no, Kendall Waste Flower. I don't remember what we use that for. We use it for something. We must have got one hell of a crit on that last bird, unless that one was a higher level. I guess I didn't notice. Something over there. It's a bird fighting something else. They, they attack the sand digger guys, so that's probably what's going on. We need to kill both of those things, though, so... Yep, he's going after the sand digger. Oh, now he wants to come after me. Poor sand digger. Just out here minding his own business. Some jackass like me comes along in a pointy hat and takes him out just so I can have Peter wraps. There ought to be a law. Um, he's pretty damn far up, isn't he? Can I... Oh, I don't have my bow equipped. What the hell? It's a long shot. <laughs> See, I can't tell if I'm overshooting because I lose the arrow. Yeah, okay, I'm just wasting arrows at this point. There's these Lapis. We're not going in there in this episode. We might attempt it next episode. We'll see. But I want to get the altar uh, put down. Oh, and before I forget, let's dig some sand so we can make the glass. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, we have a little over 200 sand. That's good enough for now. Die, sucker.
You live in a mighty dangerous place for being a slow guy that can't really defend yourself very well. Just saying. Oh, I love the AOE damage. It's so useful. One of the things we need the saffron for is for the next flame upgrade, so we'll make sure we get enough for that first before we use it for anything else. And we're going to need lapis and a few other things too. Probably iron. <laughs> nice. We just nuked those guys. Nuke de duke deed. Alright, for those of you who don't know, unless they've changed in the update, which actually I don't think they have because we've been over here on the multiplayer server. This is like one of the easiest places in the entire game to both farm a legendary golden chest and also iron with no enemies whatsoever. It is just an absolute wonderful place for those things. So we're going to set you down here. We're going to... Set you there. And let's go in and check this place out. I will start farming this on a regular basis every time I log into the game. It also gives us those which we need for the large mana potions. Did I not just... Oh, I, I drank the wrong thing, didn't I? Okay. There's also a little bit of glow block in here too. And they put here that there for some reason, which I don't understand why, because there's no actually no shroud in here. But this is iron. So let's grab some iron. And um, I'm not sure if we need anything more for the blacksmith. I think he may have everything he needs, so we could potentially have him uh, make iron tools for us when we get back. Um, there we go. Okay, but that's something I can do off camera. I'm not going to sit here and mine a bunch of iron. What we, Where we want to go is right here. So we're just going to carve back through here. Actually, you know what? I've got explosives. Let's not do this the hard way. And right back in here is gold chest. Oh, look at that. A level 25 legendary item. Unfortunately, it's a bow. But uh, next time it could be a staff, you know, or a wand or something useful to us. And we will keep it, though, just as our actual bow. And we'll salvage that. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, this cave here is, it's got a few different um, compartments in it. It's got uh, the glowing mushrooms, iron, and, um, you know, another thing of iron there. I don't remember if there's another chest back in here or not, but there's other things to loot. You know, just basic stuff here. More iron back this way. And glow blocks. But again, the important thing is there's no enemy. Oh shit, except for them. Never mind. I was just about ready to say there's no enemies. Oh shit. Get up the ladder. We don't want that guy touching us. So apparently there's bugs in here. So I guess you gotta watch out for them. But there's no shroud. There's no other enemies besides bugs. And oh yeah, there is a silver chest in here. That's right, I forgot. Rusty sword, worthless. Worthless to us. But it might have something good next time. Alright. There you go. So this is my favorite farming cave in this game. Iron mushrooms. 
a gold chest, silver chest, glowing blocks, and only bugs to contend with. So not bad deal, man. Not a bad deal at all. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. I'm going to stay here and mine up a whole shit ton of iron. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.